everyone, it's Stephanie with VA Claims, Veterans Helping Veterans. So today's video is going to be discussing how to download your benefit letters. So I thought I'd bring in my husband today, Chris, to navigate you through this process. Hello everyone, I'm Chris. We're going to talk about downloading your benefit letters. Seems to be a popular question in the group. It's pretty simple, so let's get to it. We are on va.gov. All right, that's where we need to start. And up here, we're going to click the sign in button. So you must have one of these four types of accounts to log into va.gov. We're going to use the DS login for this one. eBenefits is kind of going away. Everything's going to start going through va.gov. So this is very important to start using this site. So we're going to log in with Stephanie's information here. And password. And login. All right, we're going to quick uh, the security image. We'll hit continue. Now, this should prompt us for a text message verification. So just make sure that your last three there are correct. We'll hit continue. Steph will get the magic number here and she will type it in. And click continue. And here we go. We have made it through. All right, so here we are. We are logged into va.gov. You see Stephanie's logged in up here. So under records, we're going to download your benefit letter. So we're going to click this and we got to hit another button. Get your VA benefit letter. <laughs> All right, so step number one is important. We have to verify our mailing address here. If it's not correct, hit the edit button, make the appropriate changes, click save. In this case, our information is correct, so we're going to move on to view letters. Now, once we get to here, step two is going to give us some options for different letters we can download. The ones we're going to focus on are the benefit summary and service verification letter and the benefit verification letter. We'll talk about the differences here. First, let's click on benefit summary and service verification letter. Here we have branch of service, type of discharge, and your active duty start date and separation date. And we have some categories down here that you can check on or off based on what you want in the letter. So we have your monthly award, your combined service connected rating, are you totally and permanently disabled, and you have more than one service connected disability. So based on what we have checked here, all this is gonna be in the letter. So we'll hit download letter, all right? It's gonna come in as a PDF. So basically it's gonna come out as an official letter Department of Veteran Affairs, have all your pertinent information, your claim number, again, your branch of service, type of discharge, your effective dates, your monthly award, your percentage, all that that is pertaining, you know, to your disabilities. So our second letter is going to be this benefit verification letter. We'll click on this and basically it's just a download, all right? And what this is gonna do is print out another letter from Department of Veterans Affairs. It's gonna have your pertinent information on it, but this gives you a list of your gross and net amount for your monthly award. Now, these are gonna be the same because the money's not taxable. So what this is good for is if you need to prove income to say buy a car or a house, you can show them that your gross and net are the same because your monthly award is not taxed. So this is a very good letter. Both letters are good. And uh, hopefully that helps out. We'll pass it back to Steph. Yes. So I hope the uh, explanation of these letters was beneficial. Please uh, leave any questions you have, any comments you have, um, and I'll get back to you guys. And uh, remember, veterans do better when veterans know better.